Really quick, and you know this man, Mark, and and he also has hosted here on Busted Open many times. I would like to think he's a friend of the show. Uh, Jonathan Coachman, the coach, been very vocal on social media. Alex Metz does a great job as producer of the show, but also running at Busted Open Radio, and he took a picture of me and Alberta El Patron just moments after our interview, Mark. And he, okay. po- and he posted it at Busted Open Radio. Let me see. Let me see. You know, bring I'm it up. Look it up. I, I want you to. I want you to bring up the picture. Maybe everybody. I. I also retweeted it at David Lagreca one, so you can get it there as well. It's a very good picture by Alex, and it's myself in Alberto, and we're we're having fun. We're posing for the camera, both okay. giving the peace sign because it is is a time. You know, it's election day. You want to promote peace at election day. You don't want people fighting in the streets or at that's the right, polls. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Trying to calm the masses down, you know, at this time of strife. And Jonathan right. Coachman takes the picture and he uses this as an opportunity to take shots at me. What the what? hell is wrong with at David LaGreca in this picture? Bully Ray, please talk to your boy. Now, if Jonathan Coachman was listening to the show, which he should be, he would know that it's not Bully hosting the show today. It's Mark Henry hosting the show. So I think Jonathan Coachman um, is taking a shot at you, Mark. I'll just, I don't think he is, but I'll just say it on the air anyway. Well, I think he knows Bully will get the job done as far as uh, talking talking to you about your pictures. And, and you know, Mark, Mark is, Mark is a, a, a friend. You know, he's going to, he's not going to be the one who's going to step to you. You know, uh, I think he knows that Mark's a nice guy. He's not going to confront you about your picture taking abilities. All right. Or posing so, abilities. all right. So Alex, you're a very biased person. You don't take sides. That's the one thing you're, you're like France. Yeah. I try to call it down the middle. Switzerland. Yes. Yeah, yeah, Switzerland. Don't I have to be in this situation with all you guys? No, I I, I, sometimes be. I would like it if you took a side. Okay. I mean, you choose not to. I guess that's why you're going to have longevity in this business. <laughs> but looking at the picture of myself and Alberto Del Rio. Yes. Or I should say, in, in this case, Alberto El Patron. What is wrong with the picture? I don't well, see nothing wrong with it. I mean, it, if it could I be... Could, if I could make a guess on what the coach is referring to, there's a couple things that I see. One, as you mentioned in the interview, Dave, Alberto is wearing a very nice suit. Dave, you have, you know... A shirt on that could be one thing all right well it's the, a shirt the disparity like, in the disparity in attire i'll put it that can way. we get coach on i don't know can you call try. coach sure i'll call coach call coach right now the other thing and i want him to come on here and explain himself the other thing i can maybe see is go ahead <laughs> the peace sign is a little awkward it's almost like half-assed you well know? it's not really i gotta be honest with you if you really look at it i'm not giving a peace sign no no, you're not. I don't know. I'm, I don't really know what you're I'm just, doing. I'm just—it's like you caught me like a mid like open fist or something. I'm not really. It's not anything. It look when I first saw. I was like saying to myself, I don't remember giving a peace sign, yes. but it looks like I'm giving the peace sign. But I'm not giving the peace sign. I actually have my thumb in there as well. Yeah, I don't and really know. I think I'm like just moving my hand when you took the pictures. You probably took several pictures, and that's the one you chose. That was the best one. It, yes, and again. Uh, is that the problem? Maybe, I don't maybe know. it's the head cock. Maybe it's the way you have now, the head I, cock. Now, that was going to be the third place that I went because I have seen tweets at Busted Open Radio in the past of pictures of you, Dave, posing with our prestigious guests, as, they, as you always do, commenting on the way you tilt your head a little bit, either to the side or even with the chin up a little bit. I've had seen comments that it bothers people a little bit the way you do that. I don't I'm know ju- why it would bother. I'm just saying that's things that I've seen mentioned in the past. People. So what you're saying is people, like I, I, I talk about John Cena and The Undertaker, the handcuff. What you're saying when I take pictures with wrestlers, it's the head cock. Yes, I do. I do. I do the head cock. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I do a head cock. Yeah, a little bit. Now it easy, doesn't easy. It doesn't bother me per se, but I have seen people online comment on it in the past. All right, so so Mark, as not only my co-host here on Busted Open, but as my friend, are you bothered by my head cock? I'm not. You like? Hey, yo. Do you like my head cock? Well, I don't know if I like it, but. But you don't hate it. It's yours. It's your style. It's my head cock. It's mine. And so a lot of times with the wrestlers, I have to do the head cock. They're a little taller than me, the size wise. So I try to fit in the picture by doing the head cock. I think it, I think it's somewhat endearing, Dave. 
Like in a way is like you're showing you have you're you're a personable guy and you know sometimes we get these sort of you know it is pro wrestling larger than life superstars in here and it's almost showing like hey I can I can be personable I can hang with these guys as well I can show that I'm I'm still one of the people even when I'm with a guy of the prestige of Alberto El Patron who's hold multiple championships in our sport It's 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 very difficult not everybody Alex and Mark are willing to do the head cock very few people are willing to show their head cock. I have no shame. I'll show my head cock in the picture with Alberto Del Rio. You know, we've had, we've, I don't care who it is that comes into this studio. Guess what? I'm going to show my head cock and I'm willing to have Alex take the picture of my head whoa, cock. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's take it easy there. No, but you took a picture of my head cock. It's right there on social media. I know. At but- <laughs> Open Radio. I don't want to necessarily put it out there like I'm, uh, you know, uh, a head cock taker. Yes. <laughs> well, you did For take a picture. A I am not or ashamed. A I am not ashamed of my head cock. Not at all. What? And I think there's actually some people that enjoy the head cock. Maybe it's not for everybody. Maybe it intimidates certain people. But I know for me that we've had people in studio that have enjoyed my head cock. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a big deal to me. <laughs> it's huge. You, some people would actually say it's huge. Do you want some of the thoughts of the nation about this photo from yes, from Apple Busted Open Radio? <laughs> All right. We haven't talked to him much today. <laughs> Victor wants to know, Dave, is your neck hurting? Chris Chris Phelps says Dave has his fingers in the shocker position, which I don't think is accurate. <laughs> that's not Chris, true. No, I don't not think true. that's accurate. Terrible, terrible Whoa! thing. That's not the shocker. Terrible. Thing Anthony to say. says Dave is trying way too hard to look cool and like he is a tough guy, but we all know he is neither of them. That's a little stiff, Anthony. If I'm being yeah, honest. come on, Anthony. Yeah, Relax. I mean that's stiff when you're talking about my head. It's cock. a little stiff. Uh, Dave, Dave from South Florida uh, says attire. Dave, you're the host of best wrestling talk show. You need better attire. Higher. All right, all right. What's Sweat. wrong with this shirt? Yeah, all right. What's let's, wrong with it? Let's pause it right there because this is interesting. This is why I want to get the coach on. Okay, because now this is interesting because this is something that my wife has brought up as well. She is saying that I should wear better clothes when I host Busted Open, especially now. Chris Hamill does an amazing job, Mark, with our YouTube page. You go to youtube.com slash Busted Open Nation. You can see our great interviews, our great videos. And she's saying now, because you're a host of, you know, the number one wrestling show in the world, I should be wearing better clothes. But I look at it differently, Mark. And I want to get your take, and I want to get the take of the nation as well. I kind of like wearing what I wear. I feel like I'm, I'm the man of the people. I like wearing my wrestling shirts. I liked I I feel closer to the nation when I dress that way. I I don't want to wear a suit or maybe I should. Maybe I'm a representation of this show, this channel Sirius XM and I should wear better attire. Let's talk about sex, baby. No, we were wrestling talk. Yeah, we're wrestling we're not sex talk. As I said, I don't know what this could be referring to. I hope it's not referring to our conversation we were having during the last segment. About Dave's Headcock. position in his the, in the picture. Like he just had his head cocked. That's it. To the side. Just sit there. Just, just head cocked. Yeah, it's just hanging a little to just the hanging. left. I, I, have, I have a lot of... I, I Listen, I, I take a lot of pride in my head cock. I'm proud of it. If you got it, flaunt it. It's unique. Yeah, it's unique. It's different. It's That's completely all. yours. It's mine. It's my head cock. You don't see any other photos of wrestlers looking like that. No. And again, again, I'm getting shots from Coach Bully Ray is jumping into. I think they're all talking about different things, though. Bully Ray thinks I'm giving some kind of gang sign with, with my hand gesture, and that's just not true. And then I think it, Coach is probably talking about my wardrobe, and then Nation members are talking about my head cock. But to go back or, to the... Co- or the- that Vladi Divac three pointer sign that you have on your hand. It's but it's just my hand. Like it's it's a you know, it's a picture. I was moving my hand. 
I thought it was kind of like a peace sign, maybe. I have the thumb there. At least you're not doing the stock like media photo where the the host of the show just points to the guest next to you know. What yeah, I mean? or like, thumbs like, up. Yeah. I've done that before, though. I've done both of those. Or the fist. That's always a good one too. Oh, I'm I'm posing with a wrestler, so let me give a fist. I'm giving my own. I'm giving the Lagreca sign. It's the Lagreca sign. The Lagreca sign. The Lagreca headcock. Nothing wrong with that. And by the way, I was talking about the lovely Violetta, Mark. She was killing me yesterday. You ready for this? Uh oh. Because she gets on me about my wardrobe all the time. My constant, you know, all I wear is jeans. I always have sneakers on. I never wear shoes. I'm always wear. So yesterday on the show, Tommy Dreamer gave me this amazing Ox Baker t shirt. Okay. So I'm wearing it. I put it on right away. I love it. It's it's now become my favorite t shirt. Okay. So after work yesterday, I have to pick up my daughter from school and I have to take her to the family physician. Okay? Go to the doctor. And after the doctor's appointment, I gotta pick up my wife. Pick up my wife. I'm wearing the Ox Baker t shirt. And she says to me, please, please tell me that you didn't wear that t shirt to the doctor's office, to our family physician. And I said, yeah, A, it's a gift from Tommy Dreamer, and B, it's Ox Baker. And she got so, she did not talk to me for over an hour because she thought I embarrassed her by wearing the Ox Baker t-shirt to the family doctor, that the family doctor must think that there's something wrong with me, and I haven't matured over the age of 13 because as a 47-year-old man, I'm wearing an Ox Baker t-shirt. So, Mark, I pose the question to you as a WWE Hall of Famer and a world champion in not one, not two, but three different sports. Is there anything wrong with me wearing the Ox Baker t-shirt to dinner and to the family physician visit? As long as you had on dress shoes and a jacket over the shirt, perfect. What? There was no there was no shoes or dress jacket. But I don't dress up to go to my doctor. I'll yeah, go in my workout up to clothes. Go to the doctor. Who come on, Violetta. I know you listen to the show. Like, please, like, you gotta ease up. Like that that's the that's the one thing about comfortability is why we dress like we dress. Well wanna be comfortable. Well, I mean, yes and no. Yes, I want to be comfortable. But two, I took pride in that Ox Baker t-shirt. I wanted everybody to see that Ox Baker t-shirt. Hell, I would have went to confession with the Ox Baker t-shirt on. I want everybody to see. It was a gift from the innovator of violence. That landlord of the house of hardcore gave me that t-shirt. I'm going to wear it with pride. The jefe of hitting. Yes. <laughs> I think Violetta thinks we're still in like the the seventies, you know, where you got to where you got to dress up all the time wherever you go. You know what I mean? You know, people used to go when they would fly on the, you know, they would go uh, on the plane. They would always dress up back in the day. Yeah, yeah. Nobody, yeah. That, that definitely doesn't happen anymore. No, we're in know? the eighties too. Eighties too. 80s yeah. Too. I also too like you ever I, I I love like old TV shows like Me TV and 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 stuff like that. I watch like My Three Sons. They went to a basketball game and they all wore suits to the basketball game. It's like, who wears suits to a basketball game? The only time I'm wearing a suit is when the judge says, would the defendant please rise? And when I'm going to a funeral. If you see me in a suit, that means it's something really bad. Either either you say, I hope you win your court case, or I'm sorry about your loss. That's the only two things you're saying to me when I'm wearing a suit. Or when one of your co-hosts goes into the WWE Hall of Fame. I don't I, did I wore I did. I wore a suit when you and Bully went into the Hall of Fame. And guess, and guess what? Day. We're two out of three on that one, so you only got one chance left. Yes. Well, it was kind of like a funeral as long as those damn speeches were. No, I mean, geez. I mean, Hillbilly Jim had me believing in the devil. <laughs> and Goldberg, I just couldn't, you know? But you know what I mean? Like, in, in, two, in the 2000s now, in, the, in this new era, it's like, you know, a lot of things have become more acceptable that maybe didn't used to be. And I think attire is one thing. I would say tattoos on people are a lot more acceptable yes. than they used to be. That's a good if, your one. Boss, you know? if your boss says, hey, I'm going to take you guys out to dinner. Then you can put a jacket on. You don't have to wear a tie, but sure. I would wear like a button-down shirt and a jacket. Sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I wear a jacket or something like that. 
But also, too, I feel, and, and tell me if I'm wrong, what I do for a living is host Busted Open. So I'm a wrestling fan. I, I have it on my mind 24-7. I feel like when people meet me, they expect that I'm going to be wearing a wrestling right, T-shirt. Right, like, yeah. you know, I'm not, I'm not Alberto El Patron. I'm not walking around with a suit. Now, when you meet Alberto, you're expecting him to be wearing a suit. When you meet Dave LaGreca, you're expecting a, a wrestling T-shirt, a busted open T-shirt. That's what you're expected I, I'm going to be wearing. Not a suit. I yeah, would think vans. that. Yeah. Skater shoes. Exactly. My sneakers, man. Flip flops, like on the cruise ship. I wore flip flops. Whoa, whoa. I wore. I don't well, know. that's that's the cruise though. Yeah, I'm wearing on the cruise. I'm wearing flip flops.